Worried by the continued economic and political woes, Bedvelin, the Southeast Zone, a social cultural group, Igbo National Council, has declared it is time for the region to rise up and take its destiny in her own hands. It posited that most of the federal government's policies and programs, especially in the economic and political sectors, particularly under the present administration, were anti Igbo. Deliberately designed to make life unbearable for Ndibu. The group said that the Igbo National Council National President, Mazi Chilos, God sent, who stated this last weekend during the official inauguration of the Comrade Moses Chukwemeka Eze, led Enugu State Chapter of the organization in Enugu said, the time had come for Igbo sons and daughters in diaspora to also start thinking home. He added that it was no longer in doubt that Nigeria and its leaders at the center or at the center level do not see the Igbo nation as part of the entity. Nigeria hence so does not see Igbo nation as part of the entity in Nigeria. Hence, the continued deliberate marginalization and relegation of the people to the background by the present and past administrations. The group, according to him, was poised towards reviving the collapsed value system in Igbo land, with a view to mobilizing the race for self-sustenance and self-preservation, which the people used to be known for. The Igbo National Council leader expressed concern over the recent insecurity situation in the southeast of Nigeria, advising the people to be at alert all times as the development had assumed a frightening dimension. Chilos alleged that there was an ongoing psychological war against the Igbo nation, which the political class from the region had succumbed to because of its selfish interests. The psychological war against the Igbo nation which the Igbo political class from the region had succumbed to is solely because of their personal interest. And uh, that is the more reason why the Igbos are, sh uh, are supposed to dump anything that has to do with restructuring of the Nigeria and join hands together, synergize, and push for the Biafra agitation push for freedom, which is the one thing that would keep the people together. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular situation and story as it is? This is a clear case of people no longer believing in the government and even in the country, Nigeria, as one. Various sociocultural groups in the Southeast are already springing up and are also speaking on the issue at hand. While majority of them are pushing towards self-determination and preservation, some of them are still hopeful that there might probably be something good that will come out if the country is restructured. But with the way things are going, nobody is sure if the restructuring will be happening, as the government of the day does not seem to be interested in restructuring the country. And restructuring, to a very large extent, should help uh, douse the tension 
should help that doubt the tension or the agitation for Biafra as it is. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. And if care is not taken, if something is not done about the situation and circumstances of the interest and the people of the Southeast, then to a very large extent, there will be serious chaos. Yes, there will be serious chaos because the people right now are so much interested in freedom and that is what they are pushing for. Lots of people no longer have belief, trust in the government, especially in the President Mahmoud Buhari led administration and the Nigeria as a whole. And that is why you can see that the call for agitation has continued to um, be so loud and heavy. People are of the opinion that it is time for everybody to depart. The North cannot continue to control the southern part of the country, despite the southern part of the country producing the large chunk of the money that is being shared as allocation. Despite that, and the North are the ones who are having huge advantage or advantages over the people of the South. That way there is no equity, fairness, or justice. So you can see that the reasons why people are pushing and calling for this particular move is of uh, self-determination is as a result of the marginalization of the people of the Southeast, which has continued despite or and he has even worsened under this administration despite so much cries. It goes a long way to tell us that these people are not interested in the one Nigeria they are actually campaigning and professing. But what they are interested is in the collective will, the collective uh, money and advantage that they have over other people. And they want to continue to subdue others to uh, ill treatments even in the same country, despite having the same rights. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? So, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.